want you guys to be about three pews behind Chris, okay? And the same for you as well. When you get to the corner where you're making the mm -hmm. curve, I want you to see, I want uh, you to reload them. Gotcha. Okay? okay? You're gonna be about three pews behind Michelle. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to be about three pews behind Spencer. My name is David James. I am the youth minister here. I've run the OLQM Altar Service Society since the day I turned 16. Uh, I am now 33 years old. Come straight up. It's been the greatest blessing and joy of my life because I get to spend time with these amazing young men and women who come to um, serve God and to serve each other and be a vibrant and important part of our church community. We're going to be by the first one and you're going to stop at every other pew going all the way back, okay? I've been altar serving since I was in fourth grade. It's kind of a very familiar place for me. Um, it means something um, really important uh, to me to be able to keep coming back and engage with a community like this. In this day and age, a lot of people struggle with faith and becoming an altar server really helped me concentrate more on my faith when it was maybe just an hour a week I'd come here and I'd serve a mass it just meant something to me that maybe something else couldn't Bishop Sanchez tonight is going to be carrying uh, the baby Jesus. It's not an actual baby, it's like a doll. So There's a thousand reasons to stop all the time. It's a lot of work, it's a ton of scheduling, there are emails constantly that come back and forth, and I have a family and a full-time job, so th there's always a thousand reasons why, um, you know, to not put the time into it or just to, you know, not want to do it. In seeing that moment, like we'll see tonight for Midnight Mass, when the kid will walk out and for the first time, that's the moment that gets me coming back. Th that moment of those kids finding community and belonging and deepening and finding their faith, th there's nothing like it. If I could bottle it and sell it, I'd, be I'd be a millionaire. To sing is to praise God twice, and I've always been taught that in school. And if he's given me the gift, who better than to use it on but him? I feel so great when I'm singing, I th I'm transported. And specifically, um, I just feel like, you know, we are supposed to talk about God we're supposed to read the Bible, we're supposed to do good deeds, but also we to sing his praises. And I think when I'm singing, I feel that's what I'm doing. When I was 30 years old and I achieved a certain amount of success in life, I prayed to God. I said, God, you know, this is okay, but it's not enough. I'm not that happy with it. Give me something worthwhile to do with my life. It took me 20 years to figure out what that was and how to do it is, but that's, you know, that's what I prayed for, to give me something worthwhile to do with my life. So I know what I'm doing with my life now is very worthwhile. People that I visit are coming towards the end of their lives, and they've been at the church, that most of them for their whole lives, and either they're in a hospital or a nursing home or they're homebound, and they stay, they need to be connected to their church, and I represent their church, the church, when I visit them. In 1972, after we had been married for quite a few years, we went on a Worldwide Marriage Encounter weekend, and we really learned what our sacrament means, sacrament of marriage, and how God is the center of it. And with Bob and God, anything is possible, it seems. So he definitely is right there every step of the way. It takes commitment, it takes communication, and it takes faith. And the two sacraments to chair on a Worldwide Marriage Encounter weekend are 
holy orders and matrimony, and they, they both need each other to, to learn how to love. Yes. Love one another you know, as I have loved you. We really need each other. Nothing is impossible with God. 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 My dear person, as the many aspects of vibrant parish life in Our Lady Queen of Martyrs, which you have just seen, are but a small segment of our pastoral activities, which our faith-filled staff commit themselves to and offer to us. We're blessed to have them as leaders, thanks to your financial support and the financial support of so many of our parishioners. Thanks to our staff and volunteers, we're able to reflect the pastoral presence of Christ, the Good Shepherd. Next week, we will be given the opportunity to take a step toward increasing our weekly sacrificial gifts by filling out a commitment card indicating what we are able to do. We hope that each of you will be able to consider an increase that will further strengthen our parish ministries. Thanks for praying over how you can strengthen our parish life. May God be with you in this effort. May he continue to watch over and bless you and your loved ones.